Attorneys for the family of Travis Banks say they've reached a tentative settlement and agreement on a wrongful death lawsuit. This comes after a years long fight from his family calling transparency and demanding answers on what happened. News 19's Archie Snowden joins us in studio with details of the lawsuit. Thank you, Lauren. According to records, Travis Bank called 911 after, after experiencing a medical episode on July 29, 2021. Two days later, he died in the Gunnersville City Jail. The family claims that they have no idea why he was arrested. Now, according to our current attorneys, the toxicology report says that Banks died from a drug overdose. A medical expert claims that Banks was physically restrained and tased while in custody. And in January 2022, attorneys for the family filed a lawsuit naming three Gunnersville officers. The three defendants filed motions to have the lawsuit dismissed, but those motions were dismissed, were denied on December 11th, allowing the lawsuit to move forward. We've initiated a lawsuit that alleges excessive force and also failure to provide um, you know, reasonable medical care uh, to a detainee. And so that puts us in a position that we can uh, move forward with prosecuting the case. Now, Rice added that he is in the process of finalizing the terms of the agreement for the civil lawsuit with the city of Gunnersville. Attorneys for those officers have filed an appeal to that lawsuit.